never have I seen opportunity as large as the fast approaching economy at the edge. And yes, it also brings with it its own challenges. We know that the forces of cloud native containerization are liberating the workloads, enabling them to move closer and closer to the end users. As service providers and enterprises think what this means for their infrastructure, it's clear that it will take a village to build and deliver optimized applications over optimized networks. The future of the edge is really focused on a new dynamic. And it really encourages new types of worldwide edge services that combine data, 5G, and that human enhanced machine learning to disrupt the norm. And this accelerates our industry forward while improving the quality of all our lives around the world. There's a general acceptance that the edge will be critical, and of course, much more critical for some use cases than for others. But were the real dollars and cents, or even life and death, or to put it more positively, the improvement of quality of life, opportunity lives with the edge will essentially be around speed. And not just speed or performance, but around the consistent, unwavering delivery of that performance. I really think the exciting pieces for, for, for Edge and 5G today are the new use cases that we think we, we foresee that we can do here, right? Both to serve the enterprises, but also to serve the consumer market. First of all, everything is getting digitized and there's just more data everywhere. And in many cases, that data has to stay at the edge of the network close to users for real-time and near-real-time near processing and decision-making. Essentially, you have compute and storage at your fingertips with latencies less than 20 milliseconds. And when that happens, uh, a new era of applications emerge, which are very close to a user or an enterprise. It's just like thinking of a cloud right at your fingertips.